We used to roll our league walkings down this hill. You couldn't afford marbles. It was very sad. Ali Watkins. What did she look like? Very dusty and covered in bits of brass. <laughs> oh, I mean, what did she look like before you rolled her down the hill? Terrible! I mean, it wasn't as though we was particular when we was lads. But, ooh, of course, she had a face that well, it just sort of went with rolling down the hill. <laughs> They practically died out, these old customs. I mean, who goes Eileen Watkins rolling these days? Of course, I didn't move in the same intellectual circles as you and Chunky Rumbelo. So I don't remember Eileen Watkins. You must remember Eileen Watkins. She looked like King Farouk. <laughs> I suppose that King Farouk could really have been Eileen Watkins all the time. Eileen <laughs> Watkins went to live at Maplethorpe. I'm not surprised if you kept rolling her downhill for a while. That won't be so much. It was Chunky. She were in love with Chunky Rumble. My God, that was made in heaven, wasn't it? <laughs> Did he ever learn to speak? Chunky could speak. Of course, I only met him a few times. I spent the best part of an afternoon once kneeling on my chest, <laughs> stuffing sheep droppings up my nostril. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like old Chunky. He had hundreds of uses for sheep droppings. The funny thing was, I never had a cold all that winter. <laughs> uh, they were good days. Oh, delicious. You don't get scabs on your knees like you used to. That playground was hard. And the flesh of 1930 was softer than many pictures of the period would have us believe. The school uniform, I remember, was short trousers and the school scab on your knee. <laughs> I sometimes think we'd have been a lot taller if they hadn't worn so much of us out on that playground. I'm glad you yawned like that. It reminded me I must remember to put my dustbin out. <laughs> you know what I like to do? What I'd really like to do is to jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, don't let us stop you. <laughs> With a parachute. Oh, that's right. Go on, spoil it. I don't up into an aeroplane. Well, it's no good waiting for one up there, you know. They don't stop when you put your hand out like a bus. What a clown to remind you of. Cup of tea and a meat pie at his cat. Yeah, me too. I'd like to try and glide By the neck, I trust. <laughs> Jumps away! <laughs> Look, it must be Eileen Watkins. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you can mend a microwave? Listen, while ever these service engineers are charging all that much for a visit, I can mend your microwave. Oh, well, if you say so. Do you know what's worrying me? No, but I bet I'm going to find out. <laughs> it's your expression. It's not the expression of a man who knows what he's doing with a microwave. You've got that stubborn but 
Basically baffled, look, I remember so well from the day you made such a pig's ear of my new washing machine. <laughs> How do you see? Oh, about the same, Wally. You could hold the door. <laughs> it's customary for a man to hold the door. <laughs> that would be the day around here. I know. Well, what can you do except keep giving them a reminder? <laughs> oh, gosh, steady. Steady? I married you, didn't I? How steady can you get? I can hardly be accused of being reckless. <laughs> well, find us a table. Find you one? The place is full of them. <laughs> you can't miss them. Escort me to a table. How about this one? It's too near the door. Well, give us your clue, then. Give us your clue. <laughs> Don't leave everything to me. You're supposed to be taking me out. You should look around the room, select the best table, and escort me to a chair. <clears throat> He's taking you out, is he? Your birthday, is it, love? No, it's no special occasion. I'm just determined he's going to take me out more. Aren't you? I'm going to take her out more. <laughs> Otherwise, life just keeps passing you by. Otherwise, life just keeps passing her by. Oh, I thought when I saw you wearing that hat, it was something serious. No. No, we don't get a lot of customers in that model of hat. I can see why. But I thought I'd bring him here until I've got his manners polished up a bit. Then we can move up to something less basic. <laughs> You'd be wanting the menu then? Yes. And a jug of water. What do you recommend? A new hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. You served us that last time. Well, I've never seen you leave anything on your plate in here. Especially a tip. I'll give you a tip. No more remarks about my hat. As long as you keep wearing it, it gets all the bad publicity it needs. How do you get away with insulting your customers? It's not as if your food's good. There is nothing wrong with my food. Your pastry's not light enough. Oh, what a wicked thing to say. Yes, well... You didn't think that when you were talking about my hat. No, but a hat's just a hat. There's always something stupid about a hat. That's what you pay your money for. Well, that's true. But it's deeply wounding when people point the finger of scorn at your pastry. Well, when you're making pastry commercially, you can't expect it to be as good as a woman can make it in her own home. I wouldn't care if I didn't try. Look... What fat are you using? Do you think that's it? Oh, nearly every time. Yeah, but it's not as if I skimp on it. It's what I use at all. Come and have a look. In my experience, it's nearly all down to fat. Do you think? Here, mind you behave yourself. <laughs> Here, there's no to it. It's never as easy as it looks. Look, all that needs is a big enough kite. It runs downhill with it, jumps in the air, and there you are. Seriously injured? Flying and gliding. You haven't got the first grasp of aerodynamics, not to mention rent paying. <laughs> oh, you'd never get it off the ground. And gliding is a young man's activity. Uh, that's what they said about extramarital relations. <laughs> <laughs> That's a right bit of wag, is that? Aye. It's not just a fuse, isn't that? No, it's not just a fuse. You've got to know what you do at the fiddle with stuff like that. You know, I'm glad that you're bringing your missus out more. I'd sooner be fiddling with something like this. Me too, if I could get on with it. Have you thought of putting this wire Look, in keep your head? fingers out, will you? Yeah, pass me that little bent bit there. Oh, now what you've done. <laughs> you've dropped your piece. <laughs> oh. 
Look, leave things alone, will you? Come down there and have to pick these bits up. You can come out now, Sid. The food inspector's gone. <laughs> hey, no. Why has Sid got Wally on the floor behind the counter? Maybe because there's no room on the shelf. <laughs> Parts. Not in a restaurant, you can. <laughs> well, will you stop rotating your knee? I'm giving it a crack. If there's one thing goes straight to my cringing reflex, it's someone rotating their kneecap. <laughs> that and cracking the knuckles. Uh, eating red hot chips, going. <laughs> oh, it makes me shudder, doesn't it? And people who sauce bottle tops look as though they've got bunches of raisins on them. <laughs> Wally's good with his hands. He built that pigeon up. Hey, Wally, could you build me a big kite? Now, look, if you're going to persist with this ridiculous idea of yours, you're going to finish up... Can you build a big kite, Wally? <laughs> what sort of big kite? Well, like a sort of flying pigeon loft. For hand gliding purposes. Hand gliding? Who's going hand gliding? Me! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to put this in my microwave. <laughs> He's a great, big, clever dick, ain't he? I thought you were supposed to put meat pies in a microwave. I mean, who eats hot bent wire? <laughs> He's mending the microwave. Well, there's only an idiot would tamper with a microwave. Is he qualified? For an idiot, he is. <laughs> they hurt his rotten feelings. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't see what's so funny about me going and gliding. The last of the suicide pilots. Mickey Moto strikes again. <laughs> there he goes, you say, the flying welly. Hold still a minute. Hold, what are you hold. doing? Get off. 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 An arsehole to you, like a lot. <laughs> no, don't take them off. No, no, no. They've transformed you, that pair of glasses, huh? Oh, I bet they have. I can't flame in see. <laughs> Look at that blink. Did you see that blink? Do it again. What? Well, you know, the, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, don't, don't, don't come too close. I'm not looking in your eyes if you come too close. I can't stand that red one. Oh, what's the red one? I'm having a bad day anyway. Ready when you are then, Compo San. Give it to us full face. The blink. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got to cycle myself full face, I know. Mm. It's blinking difficult. Oh, <laughs> right now, let's see, what do you want? Do you want the super blink or the economy pack? We'll leave it to you. Oh, dear, decisions, decisions. Oh, come in. on, get on with it. All right, here it comes, here it comes, the super duper blink, stand by. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so much like a blink. Yeah. You don't see blinks like that anymore. Well, when you see that red eye magnified behind his glasses, it looks like a fire in a spaghetti factory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, these glasses, they give my eyeballs a hernia. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Keep them on, because you see, that wasn't a Yorkshire blink. It was a no. Turn your chair around. Right. Here we go. Let's try it. Hold. <laughs> Little fella in big kamikaze. <laughs> ah, where's the joystick? Don't you dare answer that. 
It's, it's totally oriental. It's pure Japanese. It's incredible how Japanese those glasses make you look. Hey, I'll bet your father was Japanese. Get away. Well, he was nimble enough on his feet. He was away before you ever got a good look at him. <laughs> he was away before ever your mother got a good look at him. <laughs> Japanese with a name like Withenshaw. Oh, there you are. You see, damn cunning, these Orientals. Oh, yeah. That's right. You think about it. It gives you an air of real illegitimacy. That's true. And I'm very fond of rice pudding. How Japanese can you get? And look how foreign you've always found the English language. No, no, no. Well, wait, wait. I can't be Japanese. Me mam said me dad came from Chesterfield. Well, that's it, then. Is it? It certainly is. I mean, it's practically a Japanese colony, is Chesterfield. I mean, look at that church steeple. They do say as how the Japanese are very gifted in the trickier practices of the marriage bed. <laughs> Where have you been picking up bits of information like that? Must have been some radical changes recently in the editorial policy of the Pigeon Fancier's Gazette. <laughs> No, what did he say us Japanese are gifted at? The trickier practices of the marriage bed. All that means around this part of the world is knowing how to secure more than your fair share of the eider down. All right, Sandman, three honourable gentlemen, one big plate. Old Japanese delicacy, sweet and sour, mushy pea. <laughs> well, now you've mended that. I suggest for that call you put the plastic fire out. <laughs> ah, what is this mission that has come? From Sid Clinton. Oh my God! If it's not the lunatics, it's him. <laughs> He's Joan <Joel> Crawford. <laughs> Keep away! No, no, she's not Joan Crawford. She's Nola Batty in sheer silk nylon, crinkly stocking, <laughs> and very funny hat. <laughs> going to sit there and let him insult me. I'm not tangling with no Japanese. No! What's he doing? What's he doing? There's no telling once he's gone Bushido, Nora. Your only chance is to distract him with a quick flick of your fan. Well, if he wants to tackle my message, he's about to have the nerve for hand gliding. <laughs> ah, so. <laughs> oh, Lord! Oh, don't look down! Don't look down! Oh. What's that brought us up here for? Training. Training. If you're going to start hang gliding, we've got to start training you for heights. <laughs> I'm not jumping off here. Come back, that man. Oh, don't make any sudden movements, Compo. Hold me hand. Hold me hand. Uh, yeah, don't let go of him, Dave. Hold on to him. I am holding on to him. I'm holding on to everything. No! Get your hands off me, Dick! Oh, stop thinking of yourself all the time. Get out of it. Well, it's all right for thee. It's me who wants to jump off. Don't be ridiculous. I don't want you to jump. Well, when I say I don't want you to jump, I mean, if you insist, who am I to interfere? <laughs> no, let go. I have let go. Then what you got that voice like grip on me arm for? Oh, well, if you're going to split hairs. Uh... We don't want to hurt you. Oh, no, knock a chops. Not till I hit bottom. We just want to get you accustomed to heights. Give you the feel of a bit of altitude. A bit? 
Do it at normal boot. Look at it! Look! <laughs> Thanks for the invitation, but I, I'd rather keep my eyes closed. <laughs> Just come over here to the edge and look down. It really is rather a splendid view. And you've got to admire the workmanship. The, the wind into a thing like this. The vision of the Victorian builders. Their confidence. Where's it all gone, eh? Where has it all gone? Well, where the hell are those two gone? <laughs> Come back here! I thought you'd find your way here. <laughs> How an intrepid bird, man. Here, get your face round that. Here's a fine flyer you're going to be. It's terrible seeing grown men turn white. It's your round next. It's terrible seeing grown men turn white. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, my popularity doesn't come out of a purse, you know. It couldn't get out of your purse with all the locks and chains you've got on it. <laughs> Bobby's saving up for his old age, though I don't know why, because you get it for free. Oh, if it's for free, he'll be there. Are you suggesting I don't stand my corner? That's all you do, just stand. I've never met anybody with such an ability to avoid paying for a round. I resent that. Listen, people come from miles just to study his technique of the uh, empty glass. Beautiful. What technique? Making it last. Well, I don't drink as fast as you. Well, nobody drinks as fast as him. He's got a throat like a flush lavatory. <laughs> times of drought, I wonder they don't make him put a brick in it. <laughs> it's true he can sink a drop, but then he learnt at the hands of a master. Who was that? That big bird that you used to go back hunting with. Oh, I slack Edna. <laughs> Bat hunting? Bat. Well, what kind of a person goes bat hunting? Big drinkers, usually. Oh, she was a demon of a drinker, was Edna. But strangely unreliable at dominoes. Well, none of us is perfect. Well, why did she go bat hunting? For bats, you stupid prop. <laughs> Flying bats? Of course, flying bats. I mean, they're no damn good to you if they're running round your feet, are they? <laughs> well, what damn good are they if they're flying? Look, she wanted their wings. She had this idea to make bat skin handbags and things like that. Luxury bat skin wear. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that could have caught on. Edna, the bat skin millionaire. <laughs> then why didn't it catch on? She didn't catch any. <laughs> Why not? Have you ever tried to catch a bat? Sad, really. In the long summer evenings when the pubs turned out, she could be seen swaying ghost-like in the churchyard, counting the little handbags fluttering past her head. <laughs> Which leads us naturally to the next question, Foggy. Are you going to get a round in, or are we just going to stand here all day talking bats? All right, all right. I'll buy the next round. You'll do what? I said I'll buy the next round. Good on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> think it was all that amusing. Relax, Foggy. Enjoy your birthday. I wouldn't mind so much if it was my birthday. Oh, yes, you would. Don't lie. Go on, cheer up. Think of all the pleasure you've given to all them thirsty blokes. Yes, that's another thing. What are they doing in a pub at lunchtime? Why aren't they working? Bone idle. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Foggy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Are you going to lie there all day? I'd like to. We know her about it. <laughs> you rather have measles. You don't know. I think I'm in love with Nora Batty. That must be thrilling for her. It's like being adopted by a Death Watch beetle. <laughs> she makes me tinkle all over. I think he means tingle. That's it, no. Tinkle all over. <laughs> Rubbish. Well, all right, then. Not all over. Mainly in the region of my... Uh, Elbow. <laughs> the elbow? Seat of very powerful emotions is the elbow. The elbow? In Yorkshire, anyway. God knows what weird areas the passions could be sighted in down south. You get down as far as Luton, and I shudder to think what they might be including among their erotic zones. <laughs> yes, well, I fail to see what possible connection the elbow has with powerful emotions. I've never tried cracking it on the corner of a table. The Führer has spoken. Oh, oh. Come on, that man. Pick up the stride. Pick up the stride. He's up. up, 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 up. I can't get him up any higher. They're fixed to me legs. Please stop the dog and if you're not fit. Listen, you just have to hang on. You don't have to peddle it. Oh, I'm not so much fun since I broke the handcuff. Just proves my point. You're out of condition. Oh, he may be out of condition. I've never been in condition. But it's too late to start now. <coughs> I've seen more stamina than a rubber duck. Why did the rubber duck? Because he saw the zip fly. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's the simple things in life you miss first, like breathing, for instance. I could soon knock you into shape. I wish he hadn't said knock. <laughs> I do wish he hadn't said knock. Ah, but what sort of shape does he want to knock us into, eh? <laughs> I hope he doesn't think we want to be the same shape as him. No, oh, you can scoff. He went to chirp you up there in the viaduct. Lost your taste for the wild blue yonder then, didn't you? You can't stand heights. Well, I'm not used to viaducts. Well, who do you think is used to viaducts? You don't think people go sneaking around after dark getting practice in at viaducts, do you? <laughs> I like it. Unlawful, nocturnal knowledge of a viaduct. It <laughs> shudder, doesn't it? I can stand on reacts as well as they. I'll match thee any day. Is that a challenge? Listen, before this goes any further... Dad, he's all gob. Well, let me get this straight. Are you challenging me to a duel to see who can climb the highest? I am. Oh, dear. If it's a duel I want, it's a duel I shall have. Listen, why don't we sit down and talk about this? Choose your weapons. A tree? A tree? Yes, but each choose a tree about the same size and see who can climb the highest. Done. I'll take this one. I'll take this one. When you've had enough, just climb down again. Don't worry, I'll still be climbing when you back the key. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> right. Off with all it. Right. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey, no, give us a leg up. Uh, slight technical hitch. If you could just see us onto the first branch, Clegg. Are you quite sure about this? Oh, absolutely, yes. I mean, you see, if you could just bend down, there, you see, then I can walk all over me back. Yes, well, I'm sorry about that, but, uh, you know. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> There's a bit of several of you, no, Clegg. Do you want me to take me wellies off? Don't you dare. <laughs> Your feet running loose every which way. <laughs> Well, come on, get hold of me, Welly, then. <laughs> How's he doing? Has he backed in yet? Yeah, they don't call me Tarzan for nothing. As far as I can judge, you're both about equally... crackers. <laughs> Does he know I'm in my element here? We used to do this all the time on snipers courses. You're a fool, Simonite. Oh. <laughs> I seem... I seem to have got my braces. Oh, <laughs> Look at him. Braces caught in the... Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, fire brigade, please. <laughs> Now, Miss Hill. You couldn't afford marbles. It was very sad. Eileen Watkins. What did she look like? Very dusty and covered in bits of brass. <laughs> I mean, what did she look like before you rode her down the hill? Terrible! I mean, it wasn't as though we was particular when we was lads. But, ooh, of course, she had a face. Well, it just sort of went with rolling down the hill. They <laughs> practically died out, these old customs. I mean, who goes Eileen Watkins rolling these days? Of course, I didn't move in the same intellectual circles as you and Chunky Rumbelow. 
So I don't remember Eileen Watkins. You must remember Eileen Watkins. She looked like King Farouk. <laughs> I suppose that King Farouk could really have been Eileen Watkins all the time. <laughs> Eileen Watkins went to live at Maplethorpe. I'm not surprised if you kept rolling her down here or something. <laughs> I won't be so much. It was Junky. She were in love with Junky Rumbelo. My God, that was made in heaven, wasn't it? <laughs> Did he ever learn to speak? Junky could speak. Of course, I only met him a few times. I spent the best part of an afternoon once kneeling on my chest. <laughs> stuffing sheep droppings up my nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like old Chunky. He had hundreds of uses for sheep droppings. The funny thing was, I never had a cold all that winter. <laughs> uh, they were good days. Oh, delicious. You don't get scabs on your knees like you used to. That playground was hard. And the flesh of 1930 was softer than many pictures of the period would have us believe. The school uniform, I remember, was short trousers and the school scab on your knee. <laughs> I sometimes think we'd have been a lot taller if they hadn't worn so much of us out on that playground. I'm glad you yawned like that. It reminded me I must remember to put my dustbin out. <laughs> you know what I'd like to do? What I'd really like to do is to jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, don't let us stop you. <laughs> With a parachute. Oh, that's right. Go on, spoil it. I've never been up in an aeroplane. Well, it's no good waiting for one up there, you know. They don't stop when you put your hand out like a bus. What a cloud to remind you of. A cup of tea and a meat pie at his cat. Yeah, me too. I'd like to try hand gliding. By the neck, I trust. <laughs> Jumps away! Look, it must be Eileen Watkins. <laughs> Are you sure you can mend a microwave? Listen, pal, ever these service engineers are charging all that much for a visit, I can mend your microwave. Oh, well, if you say so. Do you know what's worrying me? No, but I bet I'm going to find out. <laughs> it's your expression. It's not the expression of a man who knows what he's doing with a microwave. You've got that stubborn, but... Basically baffled, look, I remember so well from the day you made such a pig's ear in my new washing machine. <laughs> How do you see? Oh, about the same, will we? You could hold the door. <laughs> it's customary for a man to hold the door. <laughs> that would be the day around here, I know. But what can you do except keep giving them a reminder? <laughs> oh, gosh, Daddy. Steady? I married you, didn't I? How steady can you get? I can hardly be accused of being reckless. <laughs> well, find us a table. Find you one that places for You can't miss them. Escort me to a table. How about this one? It's too near the door. <laughs> well, give us your clue, then. Give us your clue. <laughs> Don't leave everything to me. You're supposed to be taking me out. You should look around the room, select the best table, and escort me to a chair. <clears throat> He's taking you out, is he? Your birthday, is it, love? 
No, it's no special occasion. I'm just determined he's going to take me out more. Aren't you? I'm going to take her out more. <laughs> Otherwise, life just keeps passing you by. Otherwise, life just keeps passing her by. Oh, I thought when I saw you wearing that hat, it was something serious. <laughs> no. No, we don't get a lot of customers in that model of hat. I can see why. But I thought I'd bring him here until I've got his manners polished up a bit. Then we can move up to something less basic. <laughs> You'd be wanting the menu then? Yes. And a jug of water. What do you recommend? A new hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. You served us that last time. Well, I've never seen you leave anything on your plate in here. Especially a tip. I'll give you a tip. No more remarks about my hat. As long as you keep wearing it, it gets all the bad publicity it needs. How do you get away with insulting your customers? It's not as if your food's good. There is nothing wrong with my food. Your pastry's not light enough. Oh, what a wicked thing to say. Yes, well, you didn't think that when you were talking about my hat. No, but a hat's just a hat. There's always something stupid about a hat. That's what you pay your money for. Well, that's true. But it's deeply wounding when people point the finger of scorn at your pastry. Well, when you're making pastry commercially, you can't expect it to be as good as a woman can make it in her own home. I wouldn't care if I didn't try. Look, what fat are you using? Do you think that's it? Oh, nearly every time. Yeah, but it's not as if I skimp on it. It's what I use at all. Come and have a look. In my experience, it's nearly all down to fat. Do you think? Here, mind you behave yourself. <laughs> Here, there's no to it. It's never as easy as it looks. Look, all that needs is a big enough kite. That runs downhill with it, jumps in the air, and there you are. Seriously injured. Flying and gliding. You haven't got the first grasp of aerodynamics, not to mention rent paying. <laughs> oh, you'd never get it off the ground. And gliding is a young man's activity. Uh, that's what they said about extramarital relations. <laughs> <laughs> that's the right bit of wire, is that? Uh. It's not just a fuse, isn't that? No, it's not just a fuse. You've got to know what you do at the fiddle with stuff like that. You know, I'm glad that you're bringing your missus out more. Oh, I'd sooner be fiddling with something like this. Me too, if I could get on with it. <laughs> hey, have you thought of putting this wire Look, in keep here? your fingers out, will you? Yeah, pass me that little bent bit there. Oh, now what you've done. You've dropped your piece. <laughs> oh. Well, leave things alone, will you? Come down there and have to pick these bits 